Hello everyone, welcome to SB Crack. My name is Prashant, and in this session, we are going to cover the 30 day study plan of mathematics for NDA 2022. Right? So, we are not going to only cover the study plan, but we are also going to cover the topic, the syllabus, right? And the topic wise analysis of every chapter, uh, every, uh, every topic. And then we are going to cover what we have to study in these topics, and then when we have to study these topics, right? And what we study, what we have to leave we are going to discuss these things also right so first thing first that uh, you know the marking system in mathematics right so there are total 300 marks and uh, the total number of question are 122 120 and uh, there is uh, one question for 2.5 marks and neg there is negative marking that is 0 0.83 marks for every incorrect answer right so you have to keep remember that right now we are moving to the NDA math syllabus, right? What is the math syllabus? So uh, as you know, this is the syllabus of NDA 11th, uh, sorry, class 11th to class 12th, right? Mathematics. So set relation function, complex, quadratic, permutation combination, binomial, sequence series, logarithm, binary number, trigonometry, 2D, 3D, differential calculus, integral calculus, vector algebra, statistics, probability, and matrices determinants, right? This is the whole syllabus of NDA maths, but you have only 30 days with you, right? So you can't cover all these topics, right? So, we have to cover only the most important topic of NDA maths, right? That is trigonometry, differential calculus, integral calculus, matrices, determinants, probability, statistics, 2D and set relation and function. Because maximum number of questions being asked from this topic only, right? So, we are going to cover only these topics, right? So, the first topic is the trigonometry, right? Maximum number of questions being asked from this topic is 23 and minimum number is 9. So, you can see this is the very important topic, right? And this is the very simplest one because in this uh, in this uh, topic you are going to only uh, encounter the question of trigonometric ratio right and inverse trigonometry and properties of triangles so these are basically formula based topic right you just have, uh, you just have to learn the formulas and you can uh, you can solve these questions right so you have to give every day 4 hour right and you uh, you have to give 3 days to trigonometry you have to devote 3 days to trigonometry that is the main content previous year and sample practices right so day one to day three you are going to cover all these three things right after that we are covering differential calculus maximum number of question being asked is 23 and minimum number is six right so you can cover the uh, differential calculus because this is a very important topic also in this uh, differential calculus we are going to cover limit and continuity differentiability differentiation and application of derivative right so we are going to cover all these th uh, topics and as you know differential calculus limit and continuity is the formula based uh, question and because you have to learn only L hospital theorems and some formulas only and then you can cover the differential uh, this is also formula based so you can cover in the three days right so if you have to study for four hour per day and you are going to cover four day four to day six main content previous year and sample practices right you are going to cover all this after that, we are moving to our next topic that is the integral calculus. Now, integral calculus maximum number of questions being asked is 14 and minimum number is 9. Right. So, this is a very stable topic. You are getting 9 to uh, 14, 15 questions from there only. Right. And uh, in the integral calculus, you are going to cover the definite integral, the indefinite integral, and differential equation. Right. So, differential equation is a very important topic because the questions are coming from the differential equation are very easy, are very static. Right. So, I will suggest to you if you don't have time, you just focus on differential equation and some definite integration and definite integration, the property of definite integration, right? Indefinite integration, you can do if you know the formula, right? So, indefinite integration, the property of integration and uh, definite integration and differential equation. This is the most important thing you have to focus on this topic, right? And uh, day 7 to day 9, you are going to devote, right? 4 hour per day. So, main content, previous year and sample practices or quizzes, it's up to you, right? If you have time, you can cover both sample practices and quizzes, right? Then after you are going to cover matrices and determinants. This is the um, very important topic and uh, maximum number of questions being asked is 14 and minimum number is 3, as you can see. So, you can cover this topic, right? And this, uh, in this topic, you just have to cover the, some properties, right? Some pro properties of matrices, some properties of determinants, right? You just have to cover these things only. So, this is the very scoring topic, right? You can cover all these things. And uh, you have to practice good number of questions in this and... Uh, you have to give 4 hours per day, day 10 to day 11, 12, right? 3 days you have to devote to matrices and determinants, right? In this, you are going to cover main content, previous year and sample practices, right? The next topic is probability. 
Now you uh, learn the probability in 9th, 10th also, right? Classical probability and then 11th classical probability, then 12th you are going to, you cover the binomial distribution things, right? So this is the uh, topic you are covering from 10th, right? So you know the basic things. So the maximum number of question being asked is 15 and minimum number is 5 as you can see. So you can cover these topics in 3 days, right? I think you can cover these topics because this is a very simple topic and the formula based topic only. So you just have to practice some good number of questions only in this topic and nothing else than that, right? So day 13 to day 15, you are going to cover the probability only, three days only probability. Now on day 16, you are going to sit and revise the whole things, whatever you have studied earlier, right? As you can see, you have studied the trigonometry, differential calculus, integral calculus and probability. Right. So you are going to uh, revise the basic concept and approach and some uh, important questions from these topics. <coughs> Whenever you are going to study, just remember that take a pen and paper, right? And write down your own notes always, right? right. Uh, we are giving you the study material, we are going, uh, providing you the PDFs, but I will suggest write down your own notes too, right? Uh, just uh, in a basic manner, right? So you can, when whenever the, the time is the revising, right? The time is to revise so you can just see these uh, your notes your own notes right and revise them right because you don't have to go all the concept thoroughly uh, uh, at the time of revision you just have to see what are the concept what are the formulas what what is the approach that uh, is being used right now the next topic is statistics as you can see statistics maximum number of question being asked is 14 and minimum number is 5 as you can see so in a statics, uh, statistics, you can cover the statistic because there is a uh, question being asked uh, from the only formula based, right? Only formula based question are there. So you can cover this topic only, only formula, learn the formula, revise the formula, revise the basic concept only, right? Mean, mod, median, right? So you can cover this topic in three days, seven, day 17, day 18, day 19. You can cover the statistics part, okay? Now the next topic is analytical geometry 2D. In analytical geometry 2D, the maximum number of question being asked is 16 and minimum number is 5, right? So in the analytical geometry 2D, you have to cover the straight line, the quadratic geometry and uh, the circle, the ellipse, the parabola, the hyperbola, right? So I will suggest just focus on the basic things, right? What are the basic properties of hyperbola? What are the basic property of circle, right? What, what is the formula of eccentricity of uh, hyperbola or eccentricity of uh, ellipse, right? Just remember that only that things only just don't go very deep in these topics right just remember what is the distance formula what is the what is the uh, formula of a straight line right when you are giving the two points right just remember these things only right you have to cover only these things and practice some uh, questions right so for this you are going to cover it in three days right day 20 to day 22 right you are going to cover main content previous year and sample four hour per day you have to give then you are Covering all these things, right, whatever I have told you and uh, then coming to the next topic that is the set relation function, right. Maximum number of question being asked is 15 and minimum number is 5. The set relation function uh, help you in the uh, previously I have uh, told the topics, right, because uh, in the integration you are going to encounter the function thing, right. In the probability or encounter you are going to encounter the set thing, right. So this is the important topic you can cover this, right. And in this uh, session, as I told you, you have to just cover the what is the subset, what is the superset, what is the power set, right? And what is the function, what is the 1-1 function? In the relation, you have to just uh, study the equivalence relation, what is the equivalence relation, right? And what are the properties, right? So these all things you have to just cover. What is the period of the function? These, these are the things you have to cover in this set relation and function topic. Now you have to cover uh, in three days, day 23, day 24 and day 25. You are going to cover main content, previous year sample practices, right? Four hour per day you have to devote, right? Now, now you have to stop and just uh, give the time to revision. So day 26 and day 27, you are going to sit and revise the whole concept, whatever you have studied, right? And if you have time, if you have time, so you can cover remaining chapters, right? like a uh, complex number like logarithms, vector algebra, matrix determinants, just, uh, just read the formula only, right, quadratic, right, relation, fun uh, relation function, right, sequence series. So these are the things you can cover if you have time, right, if you have time. So you can cover these are the things, but remember that don't go uh, very deep, just, uh, just uh, revise the formula, revise the basic properties, see the basic properties, see the basic formulas only, right, 
don't go very deep don't go in that deepest uh, because you do, don't have to clear the phd right after uh, uh, when you are going uh, covering this day 27 you have the exam after three days right so just revise the basic formula basic concepts just right don't go further than that right and day 28 day 29 day 30 you are going to give mock test only right so mock test one and two device test mock three four five two six so six mock test that is the uh, enough right enough to do and uh, i can uh, tell you the expected number of question there which are coming which can come right so trigonometry their expected number of question are 20 differential 14 integral 10 probability 10 statistics 10 matrix determinant 10 analytical 2d 9 set relations 6 vector algebra 5 and sequence series 5 4 complex 4 quadratic 4 permutation 3 right binomial 3 logarithm 2 binary 1 this is the not only expected number because we have uh, we have analysis the previous year pattern right then uh, we are coming with this expected number of questions. So, they, uh, although there are not 20 questions of trigonometry, right? Uh, maybe there are uh, there will not the 20 number of uh, 20 questions of trigonometry, but it will be in the range of 20, right? It can be 15 or it can be 22. It can be 23 also, right? So these are the important topics, and we are going to cover on uh, these topics, right? If you don't have the time, if you are feeling that you are not covering that whole topic, so just cover main uh, top top five to six topics only, right? because 70 to 80 percent question are coming from there only right and these are some tips i we want to give you right so i will tell you that just uh, don't fear of anything just uh, sit and revise things right whatever you have studied just revise those things right just revise in weekly basis or in, uh, in half monthly basis right just revise these things because revision is the key to success in math and uh, this is your hard work also so no alternative of that right so you just have to do concept do uh, some basic uh, question practice and the revision thing right and in the end i want to tell you that be confident whatever you are uh, whatever you are studying be confident in that and uh, just tell your mind that you are go uh, going to cover these things with 100 percent accuracy right till then if you have any query if you have any doubt regarding this HD plan and uh, regarding the math section you can uh, you can call us right we, we are here to support right and till then all the best Jai.